And the Phoenix City Council voted on two major issues tonight. They voted to increase those rideshare fees at Sky Harbor. And they are letting the city's red light camera contract expire. Spencer Blake was there for hours of discussions today. Uh, Spencer, both of these things very controversial. Controversial and uh, fairly confusing too on <laughs> uh, some of these for with everything that was going on at the meeting. And you'll remember that the city already voted to increase fees for Uber and Lyft at Phoenix Sky Harbor back in October. But they brought it to a vote again because of a clerical error. And though the red light cameras will be going away, the city did vote yes on another form of camera enforcement. The item passes seven to two. Sal DeCicio and Jim Waring were the only Phoenix City Council members opposed to raising the fee on Lyft and Uber riders at Sky Harbor. Riders currently pay $2.66 to get picked up there, but starting on January 1st, that fee now will jump to $4. It'll also apply to drop-offs, which currently don't have a fee. A spokesperson for Uber in Arizona says they are prepared to pull operations from Sky Harbor in January. We were hoping that the City Council would uh, consider a more, more equitable fee, uh, fee increase, and they didn't. Some Uber drivers at the meeting supported the fee increase and felt the company's decision to pull out of Sky Harbor was made too hastily. If we're partners, then yes, they should be in contact with us when, when big issues like this arise. After that big agenda item, the council eventually got around to the red light cameras. The original proposal was to extend the city's contract on 12 fixed red light cameras at various intersections and the speed enforcement vans that are parked in school zones. A Phoenix firefighter spoke in favor of it. It is difficult to understand how we can, with a clean conscience, make a decision that has the potential to actually make our intersections more dangerous. But some council members thought the cameras might not be in the places they're needed the most. If we understand that there's certain areas in our city that there's more accidents and there's fatal accidents happening, why aren't the cameras there? Eventually, a substitute proposal was made that only includes an extension on the mobile units at schools. The item passes 8 to 1. That means the fixed red light camera contract will expire on December 31st. And Justin, Lyft is also ending service at Sky Harbor. The company just released this statement saying they would rather leave than have their riders pay that extra fee. So there are some airports like LAX where they have rideshare fees. And guess what? Uber still operates there. There wasn't talk of a time to pick up discussion of those fixed red light cameras again. So again, those expiring on the 31st of this month. So it's interesting to see the big groups of people that were there and then left after Uber and Lyft was done, and then another big group of people for the uh, red light cameras, and they left. I mean, a lot of stuff going on at that Both meeting. major topics, but think about all the folks who use rideshare uh, companies to get to and from the airport. Oh, yeah. I think you'll see more people now getting dropped off at the light rail station. I think it's 44th and Washington, possibly by an Uber or Lyft. That's still allowed. And if you get dropped off at the SkyTrain, by the way, you actually get a 30% yeah. discount on the fee. So you'll be oh. paying less on your fee if you get dropped off there than if you go curbside. So maybe something to keep in mind. I think we'll all be keeping that in mind. Yeah. Anybody who takes yeah. Uber and Lyft to the exactly. airport, Spencer. Figuring it out. Yeah. Thank you very much. You